But if you close your eyes Hello everyone and thank you guys for watching So I'm gonna be talking about today is uh, Google Fi um, Last year in December um, Turns out I was going to Colombia uh, I wasn't gonna go this year but my wife pressured me to go and you know what they say, uh, happy wife, happy life. So um, this issue comes out every year. We both have, we both has uh, unlocked phones. I always buy my phones unlocked because I'm not under any contract with any uh, service provider. Um, I was running uh, Straight Talk uh, Verizon SIM card because it's the one that worked the best uh, in our area. Um, and um, but the problem with that is uh, down in uh, Colombia, straight talk don't walk, don't work, uh, as well as in Puerto Rico, straight talk don't work. So uh, Google has this service uh, it used to be called Project Fi, uh, but the problem with that was is that um, they only support certain phones and they were all made by Google. Uh, it turns out the at the end of last year in October when they announced all the new phones they open up the it used to be called project 5 now they rename it Google Fi and they open up to a whole bunch of all the different phones including iPhones and the one good thing about that is that you just have the Google Fi SIM card in there you can travel anywhere in the world and you have service including uh, data and uh, I did not know that at that time, my wife had went to Colombia. She was not using her phone because um, there was no SIM card, no anything. Uh, thing was, when I found out I was going to Colombia the 28th of December, and when I found out about Google Fi, it was like two days prior of me leaving, and I wasn't going to have enough time to order the SIM card. It would never come on time. So what I did is I ordered the SIM card uh, two days before I came. I ordered it, no, four days. I ordered it Sunday. We came back uh, Friday morning. We, we arrived here at home Friday morning. Friday afternoon, the SIM cards were delivered by, um, by FedEx. I activated the phones. Now, there was something that I was trying to find out before I switched to Google Fi and I could never nobody had any information about it uh, I'm a Google Voice subscriber I subscribed to Google Voice back when they first bought uh, Grand Central in 2008 so I have my Google number forever as well as my wife's we both have just about the same numbers and uh, I was trying to find out how do I go about switching my Google number to Google Fi and would I lose anything any of the of the things that I got on Google Voice because Google Voice works great for spammers because I you know now because my phone number is so so old we get a lot of spammers caller and uh, Google Voice was really good about spam uh, filtering and another thing uh, my other uh, concern was if I gonna switch back to a different provider uh, and I want to keep my Google Voice number, how would I, like, how would I do that? I mean, I don't want to lose it. So I did some digging. I contacted the Google Fi um, customer service, and they explained to me um, because uh, is Google Voice is uh, Google is Google own and Google Fi is Google own. I can switch my number in between uh, accounts. So I have a couple of Google accounts, Google email accounts. So if I want to cancel my Google Fi, my Google Fi and keep my Google Voice number, I just have to switch that number, transfer that number to another Google account that is not associated with my Google Fi, and I will still have my Google Voice number, same with my wife. And uh, that was my only concern with that. So now that I have, that I know that, um, I don't know if you guys, any any one of you has Google Voice and want to transfer it and start using Google Fi, but it's very simple. Once you log in 
you can log in with the same account that your Google Voice is uh, on Google Fi and it automatically finds your number when you go to activate you have to have first your uh, SIM card in your phone and by the way so far so good I have had good service everywhere um, you can put the SIM card in the phone and just go through the activation and automatically your phone is working right away uh, I activated on Friday and so far this is what my usage been so far between me and my wife both in the account um, good thing about this is that you only pay for the data you use um, see I had the f the $50 plan on straight talk uh, which now went to 15 gigs um, before it was 10 gigs and I never ever got to use more than 3 gigs of data and because of my car and I have um, serious extent so I don't even use the streaming hardly ever ever on my phone um, and my wife she had the 2 gig plan and she only used like almost a gig so our plan, but both of us right now is um, thirty-five dollars, which is twenty-dollar base for the first phone and fifteen dollars for the next line. So as uh, thirty-five dollars for the both of us plus whatever data we use. So if I use a uh, one gig, it's gonna be instead of thirty-five, it's gonna, it will be forty-five. And if she uses one gig, instead of instead of uh, forty-four, it'll be fifty-five. But that's for both. See, I was paying forty-five. 50 for mine and 35 for hers so right now I'm saving money um, so that's my um, my um, point here uh, Google Fi uh, owned by Google I switch my Google voice number and uh, yeah very simple very easy to use uh, if you have a Google uh, Google phone like the pixel um, the Pixel comes with an e SIM card. I mean, it just has a built in SIM card. So um, you don't need a Google Fi SIM card. Just activate the service on it and it'll work right off the back. Um, the only thing I'm having problem with this, you see that little red mark in there? I mean, that my <clears throat> calls over Wi Fi are not working. Um, I don't know something wrong with the T-Mobile service because uh, Google Fi uses T-Mobile Sprint and US Cellular as the carrier and it switches between the one that is strongest so we'll see how that happened um, what happened on there because um, where I work the only one strong enough was uh, Team um, Verizon and we'll see only time will tell but so far so good I haven't and it's not prepaid um, Google Fi is not a prepay service it's a post pay so you only pay after the usage you don't pay before like straight talk uh, it's, it is kind of like an MVNO but it's not a, a prepay it's a post pay service so yeah that's my uh, my two takes on Google Fi I'm very happy with it I hope you uh, if you're switching I uh, hope this answer your question because my main question was my Google Voice how would I get it if I wanted to switch back and it's very simple just transfer the phone number to a different Google account that is not associated with your Google Fi and you still have your number alright thank you guys for watching